Ice Dragon Breath. This can't be good! Disappear! And get lost! Uh, I feel dizzy. Please! Let me power! Now's our chance! Deamia, guardian of stone. Charge forth an impending doom! Flame Dragon Breath! Ice Dragon Breath! Rupture Dimension! This curse is connected to Ouroboros, even if it never awakens. If Ouroboros disappears, so will my life. That's how it works. He had to double ensure that it happens, so that I wouldn't try to destroy Ouroboros. Isn't there anything we can do? I'm sorry. But Edge, if the time comes when we do face Ouroboros, I want you to fight him all out, for the world, for everyone, and most importantly, for you and me. Edge! Stop it! It's okay, you can stop now! Edge! This endless cycle! I must end it here. If the original sin lies within my blood as an alchemist, if I can save everyone with my life... No! Please! With my life! With this life! Please save this world! I had a dream. I saw Edge and Nell, and they were venturing the lands, as usual. Noella was busy at her guildmaster desk. Ewan was all caught up in his research and hadn't gone outside for days. Anna was a little clumsy. Fennel was rude, too. Everyone was living peacefully, but, you see, I wasn't there. Am I? Will I be forgotten by everyone? Will no one even remember me? No, I don't want to die. I didn't want to die like this. There were so many things I still wanted to do. A whole lot more. Why only me? Why do I have to suffer like this? Someone... It... That's right. 
I wanted to protect them, the world I lived in, the world I loved. I want to protect it, and everyone. So please, please lend me the power, Escalario. As with the wishes of all alchemists before me, Edge, Nell, everyone, thank you, and goodbye. I was looking for you. Oh. Were you thinking about Iris again? I see. It's been two weeks already, huh? Yeah. It doesn't even feel like it's been that long. It still feels like it only happened yesterday. Yeah. So, she's gone, huh? I still can't believe it. It seems like it was all just a dream. You know, Iris was a really good girl. She was like a little sister to me. Little sister? But she was older than you. Oh, can I just tell my story? Anyway, I think I'll get going. Are you going home? Yep. I'm gonna go live with Sis. Ah, uh, I'm happy for you. Cheer up, Edge. I'm sure Iris wouldn't want you to be like this. You're right, but I'm not really depressed either. Then, good. <laughs> Iris gave those kids a future. Yeah. You know, I asked Iris once, um, why are you an alchemist? She's making things always leads to someone else's happiness. Medicines that heal. Pretty accessories, even bombs to clear rocks. They're all connected to a smile. <laughs> and when someone important or someone you like enjoys it, it's wonderful. I thought, wow, that's so Iris. This world, everyone's happiness. Iris made it all happen. If I was ever able to see Iris again, I'd want to compliment her. I'm sure she'd be happy. Her current lives, and this world, the world Iris desired, and... Well, Iris, the world is at peace.